I actually found on Delos, a holy island. And then there's Delos Major, so that's Delos and that's Delos Major. And Icarus fell near those islands when he flew too high. And, uh, well, I, I read up about the island group and about the history of the whole thing. And I found there's a legend that the tyrant of, of all the islands dedicated Delos Major to Apollo and had a great statue of Apollo erected on it. And then he connected Delos Major to the Holy Island with an 800 meter long chain. So this is the missing link. We were, we were there in winter and uh, there were no tourists. And I, I went with a fishing boat. He took me out to the island and gave me half an hour and then took me off again. Must have been early 80s. I went with Ailsa and she decided to go around the village of Mykonos and take photographs. And I decided to go out to the island. Well, about 15 years ago we went to, we went to Cairo and we went to the Cairo Museum and they have the the tomb of Tutankhamen and all the things that were in the tomb, in the, in the antechambers and in the main chambers and in the various, various sarcophagi. And uh, he had 27 boats. Well, the boats are all based on the early reed boats where they had bundles of reeds and then bound them, which dictated the shape. All of those shapes are uh, all those ships, you know, have a, have a debt to Tutankhamen or the, the Egyptians that they're both building. But that, that goes back to my reading as a child. I, my grandmother had a, several volumes of the myth of the ancient Greeks and, you know, stuff like that. They were collectible in the sense that we lived in an apartment and winter is, you know, it's not an outdoor thing. They have to be indoors and you water them every now and again and the, the whole cactus stand and ten cactuses were no bigger than that. That was deliberate broidery. The cow's head is, you see the stainless steel gas. That's the 1929 stock market crash. The cow's hand is the end of the bull market. Little bird on the top. That's a little honey eater I found in Jambu. But the reason it is there is that legend has it that uh, when Daedalus arrived at, in Greece, Daedalus was Icarus's father, and he flew on and arrived in Greece, and uh, he was desolate and, and absolutely destroyed by grief to the point of insanity. And his sister, about three months later, sent her little 11-year-old boy to be apprenticed to Daedalus as an inventor and architect and what have you. And uh, in a fit of insanity and rage, he pushed the boy over a cliff. And as he fell, Pallas Athene, the goddess, who liked little boys, turned them into birds. To this day, little birds flutter around the cliff where this allegedly took place. Of course, this is an Australian honey eater, but, and there's an Australian lyrebird feathers too. They pull things together. Daedalus was in, initially engaged by the tyrant of Crete to build a labyrinth to contain the Minotaur. And the Minotaur was the son of his wife, who made it with a bull. And in fact, she had engineers build a, a scaffolding on, in which she could lie. So that when the bull mounted, all his weight was on, on, on the scaffolding. And uh, 
she gave birth to this creature with a human body but a head of a bull. And, uh, well, he was a monster and he had to have six youth and six virgins each year for lunch, I suppose. And he had to be contained in this labyrinth. And the contract was that if Daedalus built the labyrinth, then he could go again, you see. But the tyrant didn't keep his word. And that is why Daedalus, the inventor, designed wings so that he and his son, Icos, could fly off. And he built these wings and they practiced and he said to his son, don't fly low because the waves might wet your wings mm. and pull you down. And don't fly too high because the sun will melt the wax or the feathers. <laughs>